the best way to counter an Ibiru trap to put the token in an attack. Colossal. Again, this is a different duel, I promise. They just consistently summon the Colossus. Got Cross out. We got Called by. Faithful is going to be negated. We could Ashuna, summon Vishuda, then Vishuda into another monk, then spin the Colossus. We do have an out to Colossus. Thunder Dragon Titan is here. Is Anaconda not summoning anything? It's going to be DPE, right? Yes, it is. With our one Fusion Destiny in Perm Negate, Griffin Negate. Whoa. We're not going to Griffin Negate the Anaconda, mate. Okay, he's holding. He's like, what if I get Nibiru'd, right? I don't want to get Nibiru'd. We're not going to get Nibiru'd. You could chain link block the Titan by chaining literally anything to the Thunder Dragon card effect in the hand. Because if you don't chain, they're going to chain their Titan to pop a card in the field non-targeting. We got Kristron Halk. Halk activates, negates with the Griffin. Cross out Griffin. <laughs> Let's go. Griffin negated with cross out designate. Now you know why this card was limited to one because it's not just stopping hand traps. It's too good in the mirror match. Hulk into the jet. Aurora Dawn. Do we pop the Aurora Dawn before it summons an Orion with the Titan? That might be a play. If you chain call by the grave, your Aurora Dawn will not be destroyed. Will he do it? Nope. Titan, get poppin'. You got a chain link block there, Thunder Dragon. That's the that's the way. You would have been okay, 100%. But maybe he was okay with that. Uh, he just wants to hold on and call by the grave. So we'll pretend like he wants to hold on and call by the grave. It was not a mistake. He just chose to do this instead. Yazi cannot be targeted. He has no more ways to trigger the Titan. He's got Call to the Grave in case there's any other hand trap. We're going to summon the Chillin off of our Yang Zing being destroyed. We got great plays. We can't search from our deck, but so we can't Grandmaster here. We get Baxia. Baxia spin two cards in the field. I cannot believe it. Goodbye, Titan. Goodbye, Colossus. These are indestructible by card effect monsters that are now being spun back into the extra. Absolute insanity. Didn't even need to chain link block with a call by the grave to make all these plays. Locking herself into worm type monsters. Now show conning into Grandmaster. It's now legal to search. We could not search. Now we can. We're grabbing a blackout to pop two cards on the field. Mashuda spitting the token. Adhara adding back a banished worm. Vashuda to the hand. Cannot be summoned because we need to have only non effect monsters on the fields. Summoning the Taya. Quick math. Is this lethal damage? Lethal damage! Holy moly, Shadow Master! That was crazy! Outing the Griffin. Outing the Titan. Outing the Colossus. Holy moly, Shadow Master. That was great. There can only be one winner. And you're looking at it. Let's go. Triple Imperm evenly matched Lightning Storm. Bro, what are you playing? We have to... <laughs> I guess we Lightning Storm into Gates, but wouldn't it be better if we Imperm, Imperm, then evenly match and maybe don't use Lightning Storm at all? What do we do? We could max C in response to the Pandemonium. Chat, how would you play this out? How would you play this out? We could, we can't imperm if we have a card in the field. So if you evenly match without imperming, it's gonna get negated and we can't stop it. Lightning Storm could go even with Totally Awesome by attempting to destroy it. And then he will either not negate or just negate. Going for the imperm. Imperm on the Griffin Rider. Griffin Rider getting the hail out of here to be used next turn. Are we imperming again? Imperm again! Imperm again! Totally Awesome is going to negate the impermanence. Do we Lightning Storm now? Going to Pandemonium. Chain Maxi, no way to stop it. Ash is going to stop it. Butler with triple Prankid Summon. 
If you don't know how evenly matched works against a token, you better learn it right now. It's gonna banish everything but the token because you must banish the cards face down and a token cannot be banished face down. <laughs> Goodbye to the entire field. Imperm, Fateful, Butler, Draco back, Pranks, be gone. We still have no idea what he's playing. Did he just top deck Griffin? Are you kidding me? What the hell was that? Smack him, bop him, and pop him. 1500, we have Lightning Storm into Imperm. <laughs> He's got a Dark Ruler no more. His whole deck is Board Breakers. What is going on? Maxi, Imperm, Imperm, Evenly, Dark Ruler, Lightning Storm. I don't know what he's playing. It's Ancient Warriors. Holy moly, the prophecy is true. Negate. Damn, it's a Chad deck. Send a card you control to add an Ancient Warrior from your deck to your hand. Some people guessed it right. Some people were right. Oh, really? Wait. <gasps> the ban list limited the Meow to one. Prank Kid is no longer a one card combo. He would have won the duel right here, right now. If it weren't for Meow being limited to one, no way. 2,000 defense, by the way. Send the max C. Negate with Ash. If he draws into another prank kid, he's done. He's done. He's in trouble. He has to. He can't get rid of the fansies. The D's too large. Oof. Blocking the Ancient Warrior. Prank kid. Oh, did not rip into it. Called by the grave. Is not going to be able to stop anything. Newly drawn, let's activate again. Let's do it. Send to the graveyard, get searching, searching for the mad lad Lu Fang. Lu Fang special summon onto the field if we control the highest attack. Wiping out the prank kid. 2800, 1800 to the face. What else could he top deck into with a Meow Moo limited to one? Not looking good. Foolish Burial could send a Water Enchantress into... We don't have a play, do we? We don't have Fateful Adventure. Are we out of Water Enchantress? He's got one Water Enchantress banished. Not another one. <laughs> Why didn't he Water Enchantress send? It didn't matter. The Lu Fang would have popped the token. And just like that, Chad Ancient Warriors. Oh, boy. Wait. You're, <laughs> you're main decking? You're main decking Deck Devi. What the? We actually can't stop that. Wow. Gamma... Just like Ash, negates. Damn. Deck devastation. Did you get inspired by the European Championship? Tribute a dark with 2k or more. Look at your opponent's hand for three turns. Pop everything 1500 or less. AKA everything. It would have been better if you actually had a play. What the heck is this, man? Where's your Despia cards? Are you... Can you even Palmerize into a 2K? You can't even deck Devi right now. What the hell? Focus. Our Meow Moo. I guess he's not doing much with it anyway. Uh, wait, what? No Anaconda DPE. You're not playing DPE. No DPE in your prank kids. Brand opening. Dark Roller no more. Okay, we have brand opening. We could discard, we could summon Alubur. Alubur could search. What, what? Alubur search tragedy? Making masquerade. Tragedy searching for Alubur, okay. Or, you know, Alubur can't search tragedy, my bad on that. So tragedy search Alubur, now we got the field spell. Big enough to wipe out the Griffin, but no damage. Goodbye to the Lampsies. Do we deck Devi right away? He's at 200 life of the attack over the Alibur's game. So he's gonna fusion summon right away into a double masquerade. When do we deck Devi? Now! Deck Devastation Virus. Look at the hand, the field, destroy everything for three turns. Gee, didn't we play in a meta where Crush Card Virus was actually meta? 
I think it was pre errata I think Crush Card Virus was a, a tournament card only. So you, you, it was literally pay to win. I think it was like maybe $1,000 to play Crush Card. Same thing with Not Magical C Cyberstein. Cyberstein, you had to win a tournament to play Cyberstein. Upper Deck was wild. Super Poly. Okay. Prank Kid Place, revealing the Prank Kid Place, which is very good for him, but I don't think we have a Meowmoo anymore. Meowmoo, one card play, no good. But we have the Thunder Dragon Fusion, giving us red, blue, green, searching for the green. We are now gonna Fusion Summon into the Butler. How can we stop the Butler? Can Super Poly stop the Butler? I don't think so. Super Poly. Super Poly into Quiritis? What is going on? He is fusing with the Butler to make a Dragostepalia very good. Do it before he activates the Butler. But the Butler is now going to activate to summon a monster from the grave. No! No! You lose to Nibiru! No! No! All you had to do was summon in defense! I can't believe it! Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Damn.